we will have a presentation by Katri Abel Olo. She's the head of our national focal point in Estonia. She, this is the National Institute for Health Development. And they started more, even more recently with their take home naloxone project for good reasons. So, and you will go uh, say, uh, say something about this. Uh, good afternoon. I promise I will be very short. The first slide is the background information why we needed naloxone program in Estonia. As you heard today already that we have the highest drug-related death rate in EU. And here are uh, the drug-related death cases uh, since 2008. And most of them are related with the synthetic uh, opioid fentanyl. And to reduce the drug-related death rate, uh, then uh, National Institute for Health Development launched the uh, take-home naloxone program in September 2013. And right now, the program operates in two regions, East Viruma, what is next to Russian border, and Harjuma, what is the region of capital city. And uh, the program basically is about uh, educating IDUs uh, to recognize the overdose and uh, then administrate naloxone. And the third point is to give the first aid until the ambulance arrives. Uh, the provision of services uh, carried out in cooperation with uh, local healthcare providers and uh, uh, harm reduction services operating in the region. Uh, the problem is that the only healthcare provider who is professional healthcare provider can prescribe naloxone. So the National Institute for Health Development trains the professional uh, healthcare provider to train the the drug users and their uh, close ones. And after the, uh, they have completed the training, then they will uh, give out the naloxone field assurances to them. And also, uh, naloxone is uh, not available in any pharmacy, but only pharmacies that have contract with health uh, developed, uh, National Institute for Health Development. And the role of harm reduction services is to motivate the customers to participate in the training and also they uh, form the training groups. Uh, we have service description, what is adopted by the director of the National Institute. And it uh, states how to carry out the training and how to, uh, to put together the training groups. So the, the points uh, here are what uh, th this is the knowledge what, what should be received during the trainings. The first point is uh, drugs and their effects, and also they discuss interactions between different drugs. Then uh, how overdose uh, occurs. Then giving first aid to someone who has overdosed. Then they uh, teach how to use pre-filled naloxone insurances. Then there is a section about uh, infectious disease prevention because they deal with needles also. And the last part is maintaining the used Nalax insurance is what you do if they use it and where they will get the um, uh, new one. And this training is valid for three years. After three years, they have to retake the, the training course if they want to participate in the program. Inclusion criteria, uh, you have to be at least 16 years old. Uh, the service is not anonymous, you have to identify yourself and you have to have the risk of opioid overdose. Uh, then uh, drug users can appoint their personal uh, peer or, or someone close to them to participate in the program. And also it's provided for the methadone substitution therapy service providers and healthcare providers working within the harm reduction services, basically the assurance exchange points. The program is very well monitored. All the persons participating in the program are documented. And also every uh, needle what is uh, used is, is documented and also discussed with the harm reduction service uh, personnel. This is the visual site of our uh, Nalaxon kit. Uh, we used the similar as it was in Scotland. Uh, it's prenoxide injection, it contains two milliliters of uh, naloxone hydrochloride and two needles. And also we provide uh, information materials. One is about naloxone and one is how to 
how do you act in case of overdose? There is a precise uh, description how do you deal with that. Uh, first results of uh, Estonian pilot project are here. So mm, totally we have uh, uh, given out uh, 552 naloxone kits and uh, 554 uh, people have participated in the, in the trainings. And uh, we know that we have had 72 uh, repeated prescriptions and we know that 71 of them actually have been used on purpose that actually <coughs> some lives were saved. One was like just lost or I don't remember anymore. And just to finalize, like I mentioned that the uh, program uh, is been offered in two regions. Probably we should uh, expand the service because there is an increasing interest. Our injecting drug users are quite interested in because of the fentanyl, they really like to save their lives. And also uh, police is right now one target group. Like uh, the Scottish colleague mentioned that, that we also would like to have in the future the situation where the naloxone is part of the police emergency kit. Thank you.